But first, here's my take. These are the dark days of summer, and in this hot, sweltering weather, most Americans are busy working. I know I know not you folks in the Hamptons, but the others. Meanwhile, most Europeans are busy vacationing. Thus it has ever been, only it's getting worse. Nowadays, the average European gets about three times as many days of paid vacation as his counterpart in America. Italy has the most vacation days, with the average worker there getting 42 paid days off, according to the World Tourism Organization. Next was France with 37 days, Germany with 35, Brazil at 34, the UK at 28, Canada 26, Korea and Japan both with 25. The United States was near the bottom of the list, with the average worker getting 13 paid days off. Why do we do this to ourselves? Well, the conventional answer is that this attitude towards work makes the American economy the envy of the world. America is a hectic, turbocharged system that builds, destroys, rebuilds, all at warp speed. It's what created the information revolution, Silicon Valley, hedge funds, biotechnology, nanotechnology, whatever that is, and so on. And there's no time for lolling at the beach. In fact, it's not clear at all that working for a few extra weeks in the summer is what makes a nation's economy hum. Take a look at these numbers from Ipsos, a consulting firm, on the percentage of citizens that actually use all of their vacation days. The French predictably lead the pack. 89% take all of their days, but 75% of the Germans, and their economy is strong, take their allotted days. 70% of Indonesians in a country enjoying a booming economy use all of their days, but only 57% of Americans take advantage of their days. And we have fewer paid vacation days than almost any other major country. Even with those just 13 days off, only 57% of Americans take them all. To remind you again, 89% of the French use all of their days off. If you're worried that working less will mean America lags behind, don't worry. America's growth historically has been fueled mostly by investment, education, productivity, innovation, and immigration. The one thing that doesn't seem to have anything to do with America's growth rate is a brutal work schedule. After all, we were working hard during the very slow years of the 1970s. We're working hard now. In fact, some experts believe that working harder might actually depress productivity numbers because the additional hours worked rarely generate strong output. We are not as productive at 8 p.m. as we are at 9 a.m. So take a break, go to the beach, read a book, watch TV. Wait a minute, you're already watching TV. So, well done. Let's get started.